Well, right now we're looking outside and the temperatures are very toasty into the mid and upper 90s right now. 97 in Raymond and 96 in Terry. So the prospects of rain, Matt, not looking good at all. Okay, at least we got lows in the mid 70s there. Well, it's time to launch the national app and well, we just can't seem to get away from the heat. We're not the only ones suffering. How about Arizona? They're used to it there. Well, they've got some wildfires to deal with. They're burning after being sparked late yesterday morning. The blaze being called the Schultz Fire has increased to more than 8,800 acres wide. More than 300 firefighters are battling that blaze. They've evacuated hundreds of homes. The Schultz Fire is the second major wildfire to break out over the weekend. Officials have not determined the cause yet. The U.S. Supreme Court rules to uphold a federal law barring material support to terrorist organizations. The justice's 6-3 to three decision is in response to a free speech challenge from humanitarian aid groups. The ruling means the government may ban all forms of aid to designated terrorist groups. That's even if the support is providing training or advice about peaceful and legal activities. The attempted Times Square bombing suspect appears in court. It is arraignment day for 30-year-old Fazal Shahzad in a New York courtroom. The hearing was postponed until late this afternoon. Shahzad, you may remember, was indicted on 10 terrorism and weapons charges. An SUV with gasoline and propane bomb was set in Times Square on May 1st. But that bomb failed to go off. Right now, I'm headed into the Fox 40 News Information Center where we're getting ready to launch the social app. In a minute, we're going to hear from you about the heat on our Fox 40 News Facebook page. First up, let's listen to our featured artist tonight. Check it out, Brady Champion here. He'll be playing Zoo Blues Saturday, July 3rd out at the Jackson Zoo. You can get tickets on my601.com. Just search Zoo Blues. Go to our website, too, to see how you can be our featured artist of the week. More coverage of this intense heat right now to tell you about. For folks battling the heat in Hines County, some are not having a very easy time getting relief. We're talking about a boil water alert still in effect in Utica. About 4,000 customers there who get their water from the Reedtown Water Association have E. coli in their water. The association is clearing water wells right now. That means ice needs to be boiled before it's frozen. If you're going to drink the water, you need to boil it for about a minute before you drink it. The county will not lift that alert until they have some clean water samples. Stay with us here and at my601.com. We'll let you know when that alert gets lifted. In the meantime, it's time to launch the social app where we talk via Facebook, Twitter, and my601.com. Check it out right over here is a live look at our Fox 40 News Facebook page. We told you what you already know. It's really hot out there today. We told you some folks don't have water they can use. What are your heat concerns? Uh, let's start with Carmen, uh, who says the elderly without proper AC. Shakira says people that suffer asthma and other sicknesses. Mark Williams tells us any places with the elderly or underprivileged that can go to escape the heat. Paul says we live in Mississippi. Why do people act surprised that it's hot? I mean, we go through this every year. What's new? And then uh, Taylor also feeling for the elderly. Sherry says it's hotter than usual, though. And Delena finally says my concerns are for everyone living, anyone that is suffering from the heat. And we all definitely are. Here's how you at home can talk to us. Get social on my601.com. Just click inside any story on the add a comment tab. You can also like us on Facebook. Just search Fox 40 News there, post on our wall, and we'll try to get your comments on the air. Well, in the meantime, local hospitals are seeing an increase in heat-related illnesses. Some cases are normal, but others are more severe. More than anything, we're told they're seeing uh, cases of heat cramps. You prepare your body by being acclimated and you use good common sense. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're eating good enough to get those electrolytes into your system. You'll avoid alcohol. Alcohol is a terrible thing in this heat. Indeed, uh, heat-related cases have spiked in different area hospitals, some reporting more than others. St. Dominic's and River Oaks both reporting spikes, while the University of Mississippi Medical Center says their cases are about normal. Well, here's a way to beat the heat. Check it out. The pool, right? Well, Jackson pools are open now in seven different locations. Two pools still remain closed because lifeguards have been backing out. The two pools will remain closed until the city can find certified lifeguards. The other seven pools are staffed appropriately. You can log on to my601.com, search Jackson Pools 
for a great list there of pool hours and locations to beat the heat. Viral Vids is up next, an Old Spice commercial spoof you just got to see. And then in two minutes, a fake product that you might hope is real. You're watching the Information app at 6.30. I'm Kathy Times, live in the Information Center, and we're getting ready for Fox 40 first at 9. Tonight, another motion is filed by Karen Irby's attorney. This time, the imprisoned former socialite is asking to be released from prison before her time is up. At 9, we list the reasons and conditions laid out now by her new attorney. And today, Hines County adds more teeth to its animal control ordinance. At 9, county supervisors define the meaning of vicious animals. We take a look at new fines and limits on who can own these animals. And it's a sunny but hot day outside. Let's go check back in with Mike McGowan one more time to see if we'll get some relief tonight when the sun sets. Mike. Well, you know, I was hoping that we could see a few rogue showers out there this afternoon. Kathy, just not going to happen. Right now, all the showers confined to southeastern Mississippi, just south of Hattiesburg, 97 degrees. So the heat carries on for the next seven days. Back feels, more like, feels more like July or August. Mike. I know. <laughs> all right, it's time for the entertainment app right now. Tonight, we're going to do a live check of TMZ.com and RadarOnline.com over here at the Web Center. Follow me right up here over my shoulder. You'll see uh, this article from RadarOnline.com. Tiger Woods misses his daughter's birthday and broke a promise to her. Professionally, if you watched golf this weekend like I did, you know that Tiger Woods made some improvement towards getting back to the top of his game with a pretty good finish at the U.S. Open. But personally, it looks like he took a little bit of a step back. It says right here, just months after promising he would never miss another one of his children's birthdays, he did. Radar Online exclusively confirming that Tiger was not with his daughter Sam on Friday when she turned three. With Tiger playing in the U.S. Open, it was possible that he was going to make arrangements for Sam to be flown out to California, but apparently that did not happen. From TMZ.com, Katherine Jackson, the son, or released a book here about her son, Michael Jackson. She wrote a book here. Here are some photos of some stuff in the book. It's called Never Can Say Goodbye, the Katherine Jackson Archives. It's on sale there at jacksonsecretvault.com. It's viral vids time now. Before we go, we share with you some of the funniest videos that we find on the web that we really think that you're going to enjoy sharing with your coworkers. First up, this is a comic book character we want to tell you about who's got a little bit of a spoof here of an Old Spice commercial. Check it out. You see now the character look at me. here. Now back at him. Listen. Now back to me. As now he explains. Him. Now look at me in HD. Some of his manly traits. he is not me like because I would have gone into a jealous rage over you checking out some figure, other guy right in front of me. Look call. again. Still chimichangas, <laughs> and no, you can't have one. What is he because talking I'm nowhere about? Near as generous Some as your Chicago man. comic again. exhibit. Nope. Still chimichangas, that was pointless. No Look idea down. what he's doing. Uh, how about this one? Let's move on. If you're clumsy and lose things a lot, this might be for you. Too bad it's not a real product. It's called the neck basket. If you're constantly dropping things like your hammer or nails, well, the neck basket will catch them. Lipstick. I guess it'll catch that too. Pretty good stuff. Wallets, your keys, whatever. I kind of wish that was real because I can be clumsy sometimes too. Hey, go to the social page of my601.com tonight to see how you can talk to us. We'll see you back here for Fox 41st at 9. Good night.